Ah, welcome back. We start again. So today we want to finish what yesterday crashed. That was here, the foot pedal there. Uh, must look. Have we done the normal for that? Don't know it exactly. So I must look. Yeah, that is the normal for that. Okay. So um, we need sure an unwrap for this black thing there. So we get it, and you unwrap. And then we got that in the UV image editor, and we want to bring it on there the stripes there. So we have to give them black gummy with normal okay we have the normal here i think to strip things okay stripes gummy and we see there comes one effect of this but it is only in the middle there uh, so that means we take with l that whole thing grab it away that is the inner part we don't need that there and this one we don't need to but that one we need grabbing positioning scale up and we want title that so we need more than one for that so we get such like that that we have three or four or something else then we scale in the Y. Then well, we get the half of the other one. Let's look here. Okay, can be a little bit smaller scale Y. Or let it so, okay. Uh, then we take only the right or left part that's eel grab that away then we bring that there to this point grabbing uh, is this part here scaling yeah, some like that. Uh, then the other part, we need to go there too. So we grab it there. And we have that on this side, so we scale that simply up. And then we have the same as on the other side when we tweak that right. But we have to return that, uh, rotate that. Uh, 180 degrees then we are at the same point oh, it should be the other way so rotate 90 maybe no so rotate 90 again is completely turned because it must be mirrored okay UV can we mirror that yes we can so now it is mirrored I think yeah that's the right way okay a little bit tricky stuff here but all in all, it does what it should. Only that makes me a little problem here, this middle part. So I think we get there the black gummy again. So we make a new one. We get in there and click on the plus, I would say. Plus. So we get the zero zero one there, and that should be 
the gummy one, the other one, gummy with normal, that should be the thing there, and this one should be without that, so we write that down there. No, not with, without. So, and then we get here the middle lines, and give them simply a control plus, and then the black gummy without it. Uh, normal thing there. So, that is for that. Control plus for one more black gummy thing, then we select the inverse, but I mean only this guy to inverse, so we get that, and that, and then control plus, and that we make with the normal, so we get that. That's good. We render it. Yes, that looks good. Here's a little bit into, so we have to move them a little. I think we must go here in the Y. Yeah but also must rotate it here and here we have the same so we go more out and we see there is the problem I ask me why that is Just too small, maybe. Okay, we let it like it is. You <laughs> kind of <laughs> cannot find all the stuff there. So here is something that wonders me. That should be a silver plate, okay. Then we make that steel there. Steel metal little glossy. Then Okay, then we connect them both, join them together as one. Well. Okay, that is done. Then, next one we have. That here must be black metal classy. So we give their new, then black metal little classy. Yes, that is right. There comes a writing later on in white. Um then we have that here that is black plastic. So go there plus black plastic rough yes. Then that here should be black plastic too. But important is here we must unwrap that all I forgot. So unwrap oh do Apply rotation scale, then unwrap. Okay, again here. I think that isn't applied too, so we apply all again and unwrap that too. Wow, we are so good. And here the next that is black plastic too. So black plastic rough. Okay, edit mode. Object mode, rotation scale apply, you unwrap, good one. Yeah, maybe we'll tweak that layer a little more. I must look that. Uh, that here is the wing for the back wheel. So that needs some um, black metal. So we go in here, black. Metal, rough, yep, that must be rough metal, good, then that here is metal too, 
So get here plaque metal little glossy. That must be plaque metal rough. It's the cylinder from the motorbike. Oh, black metal rough. Okay. That here is the yeah the auspuff. <laughs> We call that in Germany. I don't know how you that call that one. And it's like a um, light and um, glossy silver. So I must look. We have such steel. Little glossy. Better is I think we make a new material. New. Uh, we call it auspuff. That is the German word for the pipe there, for the smoke pipe, or how <laughs> you call that. Good. Um, we give them a um, principal shader, we make metallic to one. Now we have that, but a little rough should be. So, that. Okay. And that. Uh, so, we go on. That is this thing on the pipe there, that one here. That one was cut in the hole there, and the longer one there. And give them a material. Sure. So, we cut here this hole in, we try to D, make a copy. Then, we apply the rotation scale of it, set the origin to geometry. Then, we get here, such like that again. So we simply look at our second layer, there must be one from the other things that we done, then we don't need to make a new, yes, here is one, so shift D, make a duplicate, move to first layer, and we don't have to build that new, so grabbing, where is this pipe thing there, no, here. Then we scale that down to a smaller one, such like that. We rotate it and we make it longer so we get the back part and make it much longer. Maybe not so much. So, yes, looks good for me. So, object. Apply rotation scale and set the origin to geometry. Then we bring it in front. <coughs> but we only need the outer rim. Wow, outer rim is like Star Wars, or oh. yeah, but it's you. So um, we take here only the outline, shift D, then the rest we delete, so select inverse, X, delete, words, then we get only this outline, extrude to Y, we close that with F, and the front close with F2, so we got that, we have to apply rotation scale again, because we changed it, so we have that. Then we rotate it like we want to cut. It should be following this line there. Good. Look at the original. Yeah, it follows the line, but the other line. But it's good. And we make there a hole in for the screw there. It's good. We make a little different one. So, what's up? Good. So, we have to bring that in. So, we have to scale Y that we cut the material complete through it. And we have changed it now. So, we have to apply again. Good. So, the name of this mystery thing is Sphere 001. So, here, boolean, sphere.
sphere zero zero one boolean sphere zero zero one and it should be difference and we apply that and then we have that holy um you see we got shading arrows there so we need night split to get them away but in this case it don't work so we have to do here such other we try it with a flat that works here but it looks different than than the rest of this uh, thing there but sometimes it is like it is yes sometimes it's cheat Where is the middle point of this one here? I don't find it. Here is this plane. But we are no middle point there. That is mystery. Ah, okay. So that gives a little arrow later. Not good. But maybe it should be so. We can make another thing, we can copy the SGFD, then we can delete the complete front, so we only have that, then we X delete only the face, then we need to scale up that. Uh, we go here to local axis. And then what to normal we must try it. I think local is good. Then we go to front and we see we are around it, but we must go over them. That is important. Scale up and scale in this direction. I don't know how to do that in a moment. Simply we rotate it, and then we scale in the Y, but global message, uh, scale set, and rotate, rotate again. So we must come around the other one, so that means that here must be shorter. So we get this whole thing there, bring them back, rotate. Must only come around and cut them around, then the normal arrows must be gone normally. So we can use that for the cut. But we must go here a little bit deeper that we near to them and make it around the cut. But we have to go then here higher. So more there. Good. Now we try to cut that. But before we go to top view and we have to go with both a little bit out that we can see that correctly. Top view. So, and we lean that. Uh, object, apply, rotation scale, set origin to geometry, and we rotate it to the position of them. Bring it near to. And surely we must correct now the position. You see that? changed and the longness changed because we are near on the object so we have to mark that again and grab that around good oh there was two marked with that is bad so we go back Set and we 
disable this once and enable this once <laughs> that comes with them I don't understand the word sometimes okay we go there and then this motherfucking shit things here we make there so we have that good uh, so object apply rotation scale first I like that second that then we go in the edit mode select all and go tools and there is knife project and then it cuts around them so when we now look we have a rounded loop there and now we can go back to smooth and it should be a look totally normal mm -hmm. let's look here that one should be smooth smooth or should be smoothed yes then we recalculate the normals flip the direction no all good fine uh, we can look now looks better and when we make an ad split to it then it's perfectly wow good after hard work we done the hole so move it to second layer we want to cut in here the, the other hole there so we simply add mesh the UV sphere scale down rotate x 90 degrees top view edit mode with background selection word selection we delete the complete down part and we delete some of these that means that part here and then we take the rest F and close it that we extrude our ward and close it and that we cut into the object but it's a little bit too big such it's like that it's better so object apply rotation scale set origin to geometry and bring it into yes that can be a good one um, here we have changed some so we have to apply here the rotation scale itself to then the same as before the name of this is sphere 3 so we go here and say we use a boolean and it is sphere 3 and it should be difference and we apply that so <laughs> we have the hole in here uh, yeah we have it in but we have then to delete that first one so that we could uh, get a connection to that one so we look from top and we make wireframe with set then we can rotate it I think in the whole is better so rotate and bring that completely into onto until the rest so must look what we get there. That is a really strange look here. Good, but we try to get there a connection. So we rotate and try to get this line and this line. Why we can't get this line here I don't know isn't separate mesh sure that 
So um, we first um, move them together. We can uh, smooth that and we connect them both with join. Then we can get this loop and this loop. Oh, tricky stuff. So, I think that don't have a function there. So, we only get the down part and scale up. Simply, ready, set, go. Good. Uh, let's move that all. Then we get the net split on and done. Okay. Good. We have done that. So we can move that to the second layer. Then this have a black part that looks more like um plastic than like metal. So that looks like silver plastic too, but it is chrome, so we take chrome there. So we get that and give them here new chrome. Okay. So what foreign screw is in there? It is the six counted. Okay. Round six counted. Round six counted. Shift D. And bring it in. Grab. Bring to position. Jump to. Let's get it down. Get it in. and rotate a little then. Then we give them the steel material that we have. So it was steel, metal, little glossy. Then we join them both together and file save and give them mm, takes time and unwrap of this all so you unwrap good we got that one after a horrible thing there okay but done is done good uh, then we have the pipe itself that is the plastic with the chrome I think it was chrome oh not like that it's more yeah that can be the steel we, we try that but I think we take the chrome <laughs> okay now all is good so plus that should be like black plastic glossy wood text rough plastic and we take the chrome and we make that part, that part, chrome. So that is good. Here that we open. So X only works. So that is open there. Good. Uh, must look how the pipes look from behind. Uh, there is an auto black thing in. Okay. So we simply get this ring there. X root scale. We go back. Shift D scale. 
then we need here it follows the normals then we extrude them till that point and we take the whole thing not this whole thing that whole thing and extrude scale it and then we have a black one into the other one that is that here should a little bit leaned on the original so we go to global axis and rotate that a little then we bring it in position and then we have it nearly we go a little bit deeper into and we have to smooth that surely so we take here smooth wow uh, <laughs> we go one back we only smooth that here good one so um, the front needs no smooth but in a moment we let it like it is good we take that one by the side and grabbing and the other one comes later than over that one so it comes there grabbing positioning rotate a little uh -huh. rotate there a little bring it more to the side and we see we come near and near but all in all we scale them up scale Y and bring them more to the side here is bad surely but I don't want because of that one change the whole thing there so I get here proportional connector thing and simply grab this one up so that makes it much easier and that one that one here can be a little bit more down there so there okay so that is done too that is good file save good um, then we have that here this is the same like that one but only six counter the stair all the same okay so we get that we see that isn't completed uh, joint so we join that all together join move around and we see what we've forgotten that is that 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 and that join grabbing uh -huh, the last one is this one join grabbing okay um we see here we have flat uh parts that aren't flat shaded so we go here to flatten them this area will be behind so that we see here more flatten them and that here too that is better here in the middle points too we flatten them such like that 
good for the first is okay then we take your chrome then we need an add split here we see it here around no no mask an add split yeah now it's better um the chrome is there and here we need this gummy stuff again so we go here and take plus such like gummy like gummy but we need here a um, normal two but not a n normal size at, at the other one so we give here a two and we have another one so we take two with normal good so uh -huh. we take here this part but only this part and say that should be the black gummy and we have to unwrap that so I will unwrap that and get here the other one that is here unwrap then we have to connect that and we see we got that we are here at the moment so we have to scale that first then we rotate that that we are in the right direction and we have to unwrap that from view so you unwrap from view we scale up that we get it on the complete line there but this long in that direction so scale y and then we can say how uh, yeah, how much that should be and I will make there 5 is ok so we get back to that one we have to do it there for view 2 so unwrap from view scale up and then we take that 5 again but before we have to scale it for the whole size then we scale in the y and then we should have it grabbing positioning here we can go normally a little bit deeper but it's okay for that like it is it is good um we need this crew six counted one so shift d grab it bring it in position scale down plug it into then give them the material that means that was we'll see this steel metal little glossy shift d duplicate it bring it to the other things there so here but we have to scale a little and place it in the middle shift d again bring it there scale up okay then down there shift d is another one so we have that that is good so we join that all together then we need an unwrap of that so file save 32 and we get here without that one here that is important because that is unwrapped um, invert selected and 
UV unwrap. Good. Then the object should apply rotation scale. Good. That is done. So we can put that to the other stuff there. Scale down. Good. File save. Then, well, we have many. Good. That here should be that steel part two. So we get here steel. A little closely here too. Steel, a little closely, and the same for all the screws there. Okay, so we give them the steel too. Now must make it once time. Um, good. So we make it simple. We mark that all and join that together as one, and then all is in this color. Good. Done that. The same we do with that here. Is that complete one? No. So we have to bring these parts by join in the other one. Join such like that then we get here this steel 2 we have to do here an unwrap so we unwrap and here 2 we have to bring that all together by join grab yes and unwrap that Good. We have done that. That is good. File save. Good. This part here is um, black metal, so we give you black metal, little classy. Then we have that here that is black plastic, and they are black screws on. So black plastic rough. Then the screws should be black metal. So black metal little classy. Make it there too. Black little classy. Then the whole fat thing there should be black plastic rough. Good. Then we bring that all together by join. Yes, wonderful. And we have surely to apply the rotation scale, set the origin, and unwrap that. Good. Next one is this here. We have to unwrap that too. Uh, before apply rotation scale, so again you unwrap good. Um, then the next one here, that is the red stuff there that we can't do yet, that we do later, but here we can give a black plastic. Rough. And apply the rotation scale and unwrap that. The same we do with that. Black plastic rough and unwrap. Good. That here too. Apply rotation scale. So, okay, that should be the num shield. So, I have to do it there too. Apply rotation scale. Black 
plastic wrap and unwrap that. Good, here we want to make a Blender logo, like here it is original, but we make our one. Uh, so that we can do that, we need to mark seams here for the area that we want to place the texture on. So mark seam, and when we now unwrap, we have that part here and there we can put textures on. So we need a second one and we call it uh, Blender logo. So um, Blender logo um, is an alpha. So we go here to the principal shader. We say here it should be an image. We open up it in our texture folder. We have here the Blender symbol and um, we want to have it on a UV. So we input the texture coordinates, the mapping and the texture. So we connect the vector to the picture there and the UV to that vector and texture is done. Then we search here our logo there. I hope that called some like logo. I don't know. Yeah, plan the symbol. Good. Um, now we have to place it on. So that means we have to say where we want have it. That is here. That one. Make it crater. So that is in the middle there. Such like that. And then we assign the material to that one. But we only want one in the middle. So we disable the titling. So minimum one, zero and maximum one. Then we have only one there. Good. Then the two. But the rest we see there are cuts because the logo has no space between them. That is the same as at the other one. So we have to do that file save and get this logo in our texture folder and open it with GIMP. use our magic tool here and invert the selection then we cut it out and put it in but this time we scale the size so we make it a little bit smaller scale and then here's the grabbing and we grab that then we write over it, so overwrite. Good, that was it. And when we now kick it here and reopen it, that looks then normally without that. Things there. Good. We done that all. That is fine. The only thing I don't need is this shit here. Why that is so dark? Because we use a mixer better. Add shader, mix shader between. And here um, um, transparent shader. But we have an alpha, but okay. Uh, then we plug that in and we get the alpha as a factor but we change here the position then we have a white background that we don't want 
we want to have this as a background hmm. it's the same good then we'll add it back it is all good fine um then we have here another one that should be black plastic so black plastic rough uh object supplier rotation scale and you unwrap and I saw at the original that should be a little bit greater. So X root scale a little bit up. Good. So we have that file save. Uh, that will be very tricky. There comes a reflector and the material itself will be bumps on it and all this stuff that is not so easy. Um, so we only make there in a moment the black um, plastic rough and we make some for the glass there so we take the normal glass then plus we need the reflector uh, that is a mirror in principle so we get here a mirror and we need the color of the reflector stuff there, uh, the orange one. So new orange reflector, and it should be orange, and it should be some like glass. Good. Um, yeah, how I said it to you, that will be tricky, so we need to do that another time, when we have more time. Then, we have that red thing there, that is the same tricky stuff. So we give them here, at first, the black plastic rough, then we need another material, the new one. Uh, break red uh, reflect and then we must look how we do that later there are a thousand ways to do such um, I give them a class shader in the moment I don't think we make it so but for the moment that is okay uh, we have to give it there a sign and then it's on. Okay. File save. Don't know what that exactly means. I think that was a mirror, um, a side mirror. So we move that to second layer. We don't need it anymore because we have one. File save. Good. Uh, we have here a completed one, so we don't need that anymore. So move to second layer. That here is okay. So here we have that, um, that is like, an, like a mirror that is real, uh, uh, glossy metal. So we have to do a new one, and that here is black uh, metal. So we take here black, 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 black metal, little glossy, and we need here a new one, new steel, much glossy. So we go here to principal shader. I must go here back. Good, then metallic one. And a little roughness should be there. Yeah. Then we take here the front and say. The sign, and we have it there. 
good the position of that later can all change because um, we make the brakes on and the whole shit there and then the position maybe isn't the same so uh, but what we can do is we can apply the rotation scale of it and make an unravel of it. so file save good uh, that here is from this stuff here and that one and that is a uh, metal, black metal. So we give them black metal rough. And that is here the same. And we unwrap this whole things there unwrap oh apply rotation scale you you unwrap here the same apply rotation scale set origin mark all and unwrap yeah far away from fast done uh, that we haven't um, um, converted because later the position changed the same as here so we don't need to do that some that here is gummy it's from the cooling pipe so gummy black gummy I hope that is rough enough yeah it looks rough okay that here is metal 2 and that is plastic okay so we give here black metal a little glossy and here um, black plastic rough good done that so far so good um i think we end today i have kind of lost me so uh, we see us in the next part thanks a lot for watching see you in the next part